Hello everyone. Today, I want to create a video to help you guys to choose which hosting model we should choose from. There's client web assembly and server side hosting models. Uh, this is the diagram that I created from the second episode of the Blazor uh, tutorial. And uh, let's review the differences between the client and web assembly and the server side before we go into the pros and cons of each different uh, hosting model. Uh, let's quickly review it. So uh, this is the, the top part. This is the uh, client web assembly model, the web assembly hosting model, where we have everything actually downloaded to the browser. And uh, when the user requests, makes the first request, it goes to the server and then the server downloads the model web assembly uh, uh, as the uh, kind of the context uh, hosting environment where where all of the C sharp DLLs are downloaded from the server afterwards and then the SPA application starts running fully on the browser. Of course, there when there's API calls, I can go go to the server um, and that's that's all. So everything runs within the browser. The server side is, is very different. Uh, we, we use the SignalR channel to communicate with the server, but everything is hosted within the server side. So when it comes to, to the pros, obviously pros with the web assembly model is that you fully utilize the client side resources and all flows the burden of the server, right? Because everything, uh, that is needed is already on the client side browser. But the cons of the WebAssembly hosting model is that because it, it downloads everything, so the initial load is slow. And that's, those are the main pros and cons of WebAssembly. Everything else is pretty minor, so I'm not gonna mention. For the server side, the server side, um, there's also pros and cons. And obviously, the pros of one hosting model is going to be the cons of, uh, of the other one. And the cons of the one hosting model will be the pros of the other model, right? So for the pros of the Blazor server, uh, the, the first one is you, you have a very fast initial load because everything is actually uh, within the server side. And there's, there's not much that you you need to uh, be, to be sent to the server, right? It's the only thing is this UI difference, and it's 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 very minimum because it's only the difference between the two uh, the previous uh, render tree and the current render tree. Plus, this UI difference is in a binary format, right? So it's very compact. So you you have a fast initial load. That's obvious for the for a server side blazer. And also uh, for developers, because everything is hosted on the server side, so we can directly call the service layers, repository layers without going through APIs, for example, REST API, right? Uh, so all of the concerns related to calling REST APIs are, you don't have to consider it if you choose to not incorporating the REST APIs, right? So for example, you don't have to worry about security concerns, you don't have to worry about the uh, API um, mapping from the JSON results to, to objects and all of those things, right? So you have a much faster development speed. So it's good for prototyping. So, um, but what, what are the cons of the, the server-side hosting model? Because everything is hosted on the server-side, Let's, let's say you're gonna have a variable that stores thousands of hundreds of rows of data. And that data has to be rendered to the render tree. Right? And you have two render trees. And because you have you already in the variable, you already have thousands of rows. Okay? Um, and then those rows has to be reflected within those two render trees. One is for the previous previous version, one is for the current version. So you actually uh, keep a large amount of data on the server side. And that's just 
for, for one user. And if you have many users, imagine you have you use a large amount of memory for, for just one user session, and you have many users like this, right? You have like 1,000 users. So you got to do like 1,000 times uh, uh, three, because you have basically uh, three copies of that data. One is in the variable, one is in the uh, previous render tree, and one is in the current render tree. And then that amount of memory use for each, uh, for that variable, right? And if you, you have uh, 10,000 records in that variable, 10,000 rows, and each row takes uh, a lot of data, a lot of a large amount of data, then this is going to be a huge amount of data for, for all of the users to use. And all of that comes from just one server, right? Your server side, this one. Whereas if you use a client side hosting model, then all of this, well, you, you're not going to, first of all, you're not going to have this 1000. Right? You're going to have three copies. You're going to have a one variable, but, but this is going to be on the client side. It's going to be within the browser. So uh, as long as you have a, a very good client, uh, as long as it's not a very thin client, then it it's going to work. But whereas if you do this on the server side, it's not going to work. So um, so let's let's list out the pros and cons for each. So for the for the client side, we have uh, 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 what is the pros for the for the WebAssembly, right? So fully utilize the power of the client, right? And uh, uh, what are the cons? So the cons is slow initial load. Okay. Because there's so many files to load, like this, this part, so many files. Uh, and then this is this is the the web assembly, right? And the server side. The pros fast, fast initial load, and then we have uh, uh, fast development, right? And what are the calls? Um, the burden. on the server and um, the last one I forgot to cover is uh, because of the signal R channel here what if the, the channel the signal signal R gets disconnected right so um, I think I personally think that if you want to create a small application, um, then the server side is a very good choice, um, and and uh, you also need to be if you were to use the server side Blazor to create a, a mid-size or big-size application, you really need to pay attention to to how you load the data. Do not load large amount of data. Always uh, always uh, load the data that you want to display and then use paging or something like that to, to get the next uh, screen of data to, to, the, to the browser. Uh, do not load everything. That will really slow down the process. Uh, and uh, for the problem, to, problem with the, the signal R channel disconnection, uh, just always make sure that you save your data often and uh, so when there is a disconnection 
and you have to do a screen refresh to, to reconnect the signal channel, then, then you only lose the limited amount of data. All right, so overall, I, I do think that a better choice is to use the WebAssembly hosting model uh, instead of the server-side hosting model. But, uh, but with very careful design, you, you, do, you, you can use the server-side model uh, for for a, a large project. All right, that's everything I want to cover for today. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.